pray to Allah. And don't get us wrong. When you see a beautiful woman, may your heart dances, man. Don't get us wrong. Your heart dances, man. When you see a beautiful real woman, talk. yeah, real your talk. heart dances. Yeah. But listen, it takes a real man to understand, listen, I'm not here for a temporary buzz. Yeah. I'm here to make a commitment. And you know what it is? And you know, and you know what it is? You see brothers today, man, they marry a bride, get some makeup on, looks like a beautiful woman. And then, but then when he wakes up in the next morning, that, that woman's not unattractive. The next you know, these what are, do you expect, man? What's the solution? Lower your gaze, right? Lowering your gaze. Allah tells us to lower, tell the believing men to lower their gaze, to yeah, protect their yeah. private parts. Don't, don't go near it. Lower your gaze. And even then, you know, even the Prophet of Islam talked about the glance, right? When you have one glance, don't follow it up by a second because something can happen with that. So there's all these different aspects when it comes to this whole issue of zina itself. And um, and even even the Prophet of Islam talked about if you do see, uh, go home and have relations with your wife, right? Because like you're, you're saving yourself from that lust, from that from that desire where it could cause you to fall into deeper and um, further uh, sin. And you know what it is? And for, for brothers and sisters who are virgin out there, my hat's off to you, man. Do you know what I mean? Because that is something, you know, society wants you to be the same, be different than the society. Why? Because you're going to hold something valuable and tomorrow your future is going to be bright. Why? Because you've held back for the sake of Allah and Allah's going to put more barakah in your relationship. Why? Because you've sacrificed something. You've hold on, yeah, to someone who's waiting for you around the corner. Yeah, that's how quick life goes, man. Just around the corner, yeah. And you're going to spend your life with that certain individual, yeah. Um, and there's going to be so much barakah in the family. And watch your kids in the future. They'll be a positive. They'll be positive, man. They'll be positive. Because at the end, tomorrow, you have daughters, you have sons. Tomorrow, they're going to go out there and they're going to be worse than you. Yeah, your daughters, well, they say, oh, I've met the woman in my life. Yeah, you're going to meet the woman of your life, bro. There's no such thing as a woman. Oh, she's the one. What do you mean she's the one? Stop listening to your stupid tracks, yeah? Follow she's my that. one or whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, she, she ain't going to be what? Listen, I have never met a certain individual in their whole life in a marriage, yeah, where it's been all from it all you met. Do you know what I mean? You're going to have your ups and downs. You married her beauty. You're also going to deal with our thorns, my friend. You're also going to deal with our thorns. And if you can't do that, you ain't no man. I'll tell you that now. Yeah. So check yourself before you wreck yourself.